Good morning. My name is Bethany and this is a Faye in the Life. Today is Thanksgiving. So we are getting the house ready. Brandon is at work during the day. So it's just me and Kennedy getting everything ready and set up. Luckily, most of my prep work I've already done through the week. I'm sure you've seen those recipe videos coming up. Make sure you check those out. I'll link them down in the description below. I am going to get started cleaning up the house and then also doing a little bit more prep work. We're not having dinner until around 6, 6.30 today. So we do have a little time before I have to put the turkey in, but people are coming over. There's always plenty of other things to do. Getting ready for a family gathering. Kennedy and I just had some pancakes and eggs and we are all done eating breakfast. So it's time to get started. You're gonna sing that song outside? Cool. Yeah, next time we go outside. I wiped everything down really good since we do have kids and they like to make messes. So I just wanted everything to be nice and clean and fresh for when everyone came over. I had our little robot vacuum running this whole time. Just one last thing I have to worry about. Obviously I'll have to clean the floors after cooking and having everyone over just because messes do inevitably happen. So I wasn't gonna do like deep cleaning beforehand of the floor, but I did wanna just sweep up a little bit. Kennedy helped us pick out cute little Thanksgiving themed plates and napkins at Walmart the other day. I had dishes in the dishwasher that I needed to put away. So I did that and then loaded up what was already in the sink. So all I do is just chop up the carrots and the celery and the onions into fine pieces for the stuffing and then for the turkey I leave it in bigger chunks so it adds a nice layer of flavor to the turkey juices so that I can use that and make a delicious gravy. I had more carrots than I needed so I chopped them up for Brandon. He loves to snack on carrots. I had our turkey thawing in the fridge, but it was still a little bit frozen. So I put it in a plastic bag and then added cold water so that it could finish thawing on the countertop. Then for the butter mixture that I use, I added in margarine, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and minced garlic. I mix that all together and then that's what I use to rub under the skin and over the skin of the turkey when it is going in the oven. I do make a turkey gravy myself. I use the neck and gizzards from the turkey. 
I chop up the gizzards really fine and saute them with a little bit of margarine and onions. And then I add in the turkey neck as well as enough stock to just cover that. I do simmer that for a while and then as the turkey is cooking, I do take some of the juices from the turkey and add that into the stock as well. When it is all said and done, I will remove the neck. I do usually leave the gizzards in there, but you could always strain that out if you don't like that. So I will just simmer that on the stove until it reduces. If it does need a little bit of help thickening, you can always use cornstarch mixed with a little bit of water or a little bit of xanthan gum. If you're not gluten-free, you can always add just a touch of flour as well. I do tend to wait to season it until the end, just make sure that it's not too salty from all of the seasonings that the turkey is cooking in. For the potatoes, we bought a giant bag at Costco. So I just took out about two and a half pounds of those. I'm going to just wash those and then I do peel them a little bit. I don't mind having the skins in there, but Sometimes it's just easier for them to cook and mash up nicely if they don't have the skins on it. And then I'm actually putting them right into the Instant Pot. I'll give them another rinse just to get any extra dirt or anything off of them. And then I'll just fill the pot up enough to just cover the potatoes. Then those will go into the Instant Pot on high pressure for about 10 to 15 minutes. With this many potatoes and there's some larger ones in there, I'll probably do about 15 minutes and then release the pressure drain those and then i'm going to add in unsweetened almond milk and margarine salt pepper onion powder and garlic powder and i am going to just mash those up and they will be ready to go I made the sweet potato casserole ahead of time. So that has actually been in the freezer. So I pulled it out last night so that it could thaw in the fridge. I'm just going to put that in the oven at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. Then we'll uncover them, add on the marshmallows and cook until those are nice and melty. You can also hit it with the broiler for just a few minutes just to brown them up and they are amazing. I made gluten-free two ingredient dough rolls for dinner today, and I have a video showing that process. So you can click the eye up above if you wanna check those out. Throw them in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes, and they will be ready to go when dinner is ready. We have a gluten-free stuffing that my sister picked up. It is just the breadcrumbs. So you basically add everything in yourself. So I have chicken stock, I have celery and carrots, which you saw me cut up earlier, and then onion as well. I'm just going to cook the veggies until they're tender and I'm just going to add in the stock and then add the breadcrumbs in and fluff them up just like regular stovetop stuffing. I decided to air fry the green beans this year. Usually I do roasted veggies, but I really like doing the green beans in the air fryer. So I got fresh green beans and I just rinsed them and I'm trimming off the ends and cutting them into manageable pieces. I'm gonna throw them all into a bowl and then I will get those prepped for the air fryer. I like to spray some nonstick cooking spray in there and then I just add salt pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and I really love this Weber brand of roasted garlic and herb seasoning. It's really delicious. I think we got it at Sam's Club and I love using it on veggies. I'll just do them in the air fryer for about 20 to 30 minutes and I stir them every five minutes or so just to make sure they cook evenly and that they don't burn. For dessert, I made a gluten-free apple pie with crumble topping, a gluten-free pumpkin pie, and then I did make my pumpkin roll. This was the only thing I made for Thanksgiving that was not gluten-free. I have the recipe videos for each of these desserts linked in the description box below, so make sure you check those out. So we had our turkey, turkey gravy, 
sweet potato casserole, gluten-free dinner rolls, mashed potatoes, stuffing, air fried green beans, apple pie, pumpkin pie, and pumpkin roll. We had a great family dinner. Everyone enjoyed all of the food and we just had a really nice time hanging out together. I hope that you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving as well and from my family to yours, happy Thanksgiving. And of course, thank you for watching, thanks for hanging out, and thank you for subscribing and being a part of my YouTube family. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!